It's the Memphis Sports Network, WMC Memphis, WMFS HD2 Bartlett Memphis, WMFS FM and HD1 Bartlett, WMFS Memphis, ESPN 790 AM and 92.9 FM ESPN. Watch the sun rise, new days dawn, and it's calling. Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. It's uh, maybe Don King singing our theme song or Dennis Fuller bringing us in and, uh, uh, on our next segment, of course, Charlie Covington will be on with that uh, his poem of last poem of the year, and then we're also going to talk during that segment with uh, Stuart Settles, who has settled in here as our super sub, not as a sandwich or anything like <laughs> that, you know. But uh, Stuart has done a great job. Greg Ratliff is out there selling tomatoes and uh, what other stuff that he might do. But uh, some of you folks might not know that. Uh, that Stuart uh, is a man of many talents and uh, works here and works there and things along that line. And actually, when we mentioned the Liberty Bowl being on, uh, is that on ABC? ABC, yes. 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 Local 24. Local 24, as, as Stuart said. That's, mm-hmm. uh, that's Pre-game coverage starting at 10. That's enough, That's enough, sir. 11.30, <laughs> I'll be on the field. Uh, that's shooting enough, that's way too much. You know, he'll be, you'll, be able, you'll be able to see uh, Ron down, and he'll be the only one wearing shorts. Okay? So, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of shorts, <laughs> uh, we've got uh, we got to bring in uh, our, our good friend Dave Gabbert because, golly, not only is the TWRA a part of this show and a major part of this show, but uh, Gene in, is here, and his partner Daryl and Daryl uh, Daryl and Daryl show is on the line. other line. And Dave Gabbard has been the co-host. He allows me to go into the field and just sit there for a while till it starts raining, <laughs> and then I leave. And I, I and Dave, uh, first of all, good morning, Dave Gabbard. But second of all, I owe you apology. I'm sorry I was whispering in the duck blind. Uh, I I just yeah, forgot. I, you know, <laughs> Me and my brother Darrell, we looked at each other and went, "Why is he whispering?" <laughs> <laughs> then I looked at my with Frank Barton and said, "Hey, Frank, why am I whispering? You know, uh, shoot your gun, would you please?" And, uh, and uh, but anyway, yeah. hey Dave, we appreciate you, uh, buddy. And uh, uh, as we're doing this uh, co-host round the world, and uh, Gene Smith and Ron. Wong are in the studio with me. Uh, we're asking each of our uh, co-hosts to get a little, little background about themselves, uh, where they grew up, uh, where they went to school, uh, a little bit uh, maybe the family, and, and then talk about uh, life today, I mean, and what you're doing today. But uh, we'll, we're, we're wrapping up the show with you and because uh, I know you are the co-host. Uh, Ron's <laughs> done this uh, many years too, but uh, tell our listeners a little bit about yourself. Well, I was born a poor child in Yazoo City, Mississippi. <laughs> Can I get up off the floor, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. Nah, you know, I, 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 you know, I have I have my roots down there in Memphis. You know, as everybody knows, you know, I'm a, I'm a 
grew up in Memphis, out there in North Memphis, out at Fraser, uh-huh. and uh, so uh, went to one of the, you know went to West Side High School down there. Yep, the Wildcats. Okay. Yeah, of course. Was it just open I, then? Uh, was it was it uh, fairly new when you uh, went to it? No, well, it was. Uh, I wouldn't say fairly new. I can remember when I was in. The elementary part, you uh-huh. know, of uh, them opening the high school part of it over yes, there. Yes, because they thought there was going to be so many people from uh, uh, Firestone and all that. Uh, that was what they had. Harvest, International right? Harvest. That was all that area, really. It oh, was. Yeah. And, uh, but anyway, so you went to West Side, then you went Yeah, on. went to West Side and graduated from there, then did a couple of years. Uh, went to Arkansas over there for a couple of years at a kind of a Votex school, and uh-huh. then got out of there and then spent six years in the United States Air Force. Hear that, Ron? Travel, that, traveling cool. around. Yeah, and, and, uh, and you traveled around, because you know, a lot of people know about when yeah, we get to your I, TWR I, career, career, but you you did do some travel in some places that I didn't realize you'd been to as an Air Force. Uh, oh, yeah, and uh, I had one of those unique positions in the Air Force. I was in a small unit that actually was kind of, Part of military intelligence, whatever. But I I played a Russian for six years, and uh, back play, in the good old Cold tell, War days. Tell us that. that, that, that yeah, I want to hear about. He this. wants to hear how, how you played yeah. a Russian. Uh, uh, the, what what it was? We had the unit we uh, belonged to. We evaluated uh, fighter and bomber crews. Oh, you know, okay. With, uh, yeah. You know, so you know the, the air forces they're always training and stuff. So. They got to have somebody to train against. So, the unit I was in was one of those units, and my crew uh, that I supervised and had, we had installations that simulated Soviet surface to air missiles <laughs> and Soviet uh, anti aircraft batteries. That was the Cold War days. So, I mean, that was uh, in the good old Cold War, yeah, Cold War days. And and you were you were at uh, give me a location where you were. Oh, I was anywhere from the Canadian border down to the coast of Texas. Yeah, and so he we was. Moved, you, we moved around a lot, mainly in the plains, because we had to be set up where nobody was at, and because a lot of these fighters and bombers, when they did their training, uh-huh. part of their training they flew three, four hundred feet off the you know deck, as we called it. Wow! So, wow. Well, and then we're, uh, we're talking to Dave Gabbard here, our good but, man. Uh, uh, but you went from I the can't, military. I can't, you came out of the military. Did you go straight to the TWRA? I came out of the military. I uh, was unfortunate. I was one of the, and that last group that had the old GI Bill. So uh-huh. I decided, hey, I'm going to go back and get my wildlife classes. So I went to Tennessee Tech and finished uh-huh. all my wildlife stuff and then uh, came to work for TWRA. And you started out as a, as a, a as an officer, right? I mean, you started were... out as an officer in Henderson County back uh, August the 1st. Of 1983. Wow. Wow. So, uh, uh, so you're in Henderson County, which a lot of people will say, well, what is that? Well, that's, uh, uh, is, is that Lexington? The county seat is in that? Lexington. That's just Strace, yeah. WMA. That's uh, probably, yeah. you know, more people know it and half of it. But you didn't you know, know. spend a lot of, how many years were you in that county? I was the officer in Henderson County for almost fifteen years. Fifteen years, so a lot of folks uh, re- real and you know. So you know, if anybody can stand up for what the offers, uh, you know, you get a guy that's spent fifteen years in the field, and then you bring him in. Uh, uh, Jed Pettit has started as uh, as the man I met that did all the PR for West Tennessee. What a wonderful guy! And uh, and, and killed in an automobile uh, accident. Uh, and then uh, Alan Peterson comes in, and Alan now is, I guess, you know, we call him region manager, but I'm, I'm not, they may have that something else now. And so Alan came in, took me under his wing. He and I worked together. And then uh, fortunately for me and others in the outdoor industry, uh, Dave Gabbert came on. And I don't know of a man that's got more passion for the outdoors and uh, doesn't mind speaking up and giving his opinion. Hey, Amen. And and his opinion is right on target. Uh, exactly. Most of the time, but you've been in this position how long, Dave? I've been in this position for oh Lord, since uh, fifteen, almost fifteen years almost. as an officer. So I've got thirty 
four, going on thirty five years. It's about twenty years. Yeah, about twenty years. And this, we're we're unique, which is a word that wouldn't allow me to use it in commercial appeal for some reason <laughs> when I was typing it. But a unique position in Region One uh, because we have uh, we have Lance Ryder. He is the uh, I guess the education part of it, and Dave uh-huh. is is the information part. We have two guys that uh, really worked out. I don't, and and we don't have time to explain all that. But fifteen years is the is the is the PR guy, so to speak. And Dave, you've seen you talk about seeing technology change. Oh I mean, yeah, I, well, mean, the, well, I was laughing. You know, when I came on board. You know, just the news releases. The news alone. releases coming in. You know, in I'd, paper. I'd have to. I'd have and, to type them like you did on the old Underwood, you know. That's right. And then, Put them in the office, make copies, and, and send hand them. them to the secretary, and she'd go in there and and uh, more or less put them on a retype it on a stencil type thing. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And put them on that old mimeograph machine that had that drum and that ink. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she'd run a couple of hundred of them off, and uh, then have to go in there and stamp all the envelopes. Those you are, know, now you're aging that, yourself. You, you're you aging. Know, the, you're, oh yeah, it, it, it's 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 funny because uh, what technology? And uh, I told a uh, young lady one time at uh, one of the uh, mobile phone companies. I was you know having them look at my phone had a little bug in it, and we was talking about technology. And I told her, yeah, I can remember back in the early seventies, nineteen seventy three, yeah. reading in a popular mechanics or popular science that Sony at that time, their research and development department, uh. was working on, their goal was to invent a television, they said, as thin as a picture frame that you can move and hang on any wall in your house. Now, and that was in 73, and it took them 40 years to do it. 40 years to do it, and they finally and got I it said, hung okay. on the wall. Yeah. And then, then the technology is taken off. I told her, I said, now, just think about it, what we have now, that when you get to be my age, yeah. and uh, I said, what do you think the technology is going to be then? Yes. You yeah. know. Well, listen. Telepathic. Telepathic. You know, I'm, I'm looking for the day that uh, when when duck season, I, we can go to the blind and then sit, instead of setting out a thousand decoys, yeah. I just put I just put the multimedia projector up and program it go. on the computer <laughs> on a hologram out there. Okay, how many ducks we want this morning out there on the water? Working you the know. joystick. Well, yeah. that's uh, and and I know your love for the outdoors and uh and 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 particularly waterfowl hunting, but you also uh folks you might not know as Dave is uh recognized in uh across the nation for his competitiveness in shooting yes, sports. He is. Uh, long rifles, uh, black powder, black powder. Maybe. Yeah. And uh, that's, and is that something that you picked up, uh, as a kid or was that later that's on? Something I, I, I started shooting when I was six years old and I was, oh, came man. from a fam, whole family of the type shooters. Yeah. And, uh, it was one of those things when we, when we got together out in the country, as I called it. Yeah. At, uh, like at, at my grandmother's house and everything, all my uncles sitting around. It didn't take long till the twenty two rifles came out. Yeah, okay. And our our favorite shoot was we'd tack bottle caps up on the where the you know, on the wood pile out uh, there. Yeah. On the end of a piece of firewood. Yeah. Tack it up and see how many shots back off it's probably, you know, thirty yards or something, but see how many shots it took us to yeah. drive the nail. Through the bottle cap, uh, drive wow. the nail, not just wow. the bottle cap. Drive the nail through there. So, uh, <laughs> so well. Uh, but, uh, we wish we had more time to talk, but uh, uh, you know, as a co-host, we got to get out of here. But yeah, uh, and not. But I want. I, well, I want to see you know next week. I'll be in the studio, me and my brother Daryl. Yes, you will. Because I think you're going. You said you want to go deer hunting one uh, more time. I'm going to try one more time. Uh, and if the weather is like. Yes. It is today, next week. I'm going to see if you can talk with your teeth gathering. <laughs> <laughs> you know? No, because I'm, like the old boy said this morning, you, it, you'd have a hard time finding a well digger out there this morning. Oh, man, yeah. Well, next week yeah. I'm going to text you from the stand, so yeah. won't be whispering. <laughs> I'll just send you a text. Larry Ray said, Larry says it's cold out here. It's cold out yeah. yeah. Well, be sure to text it at least 15 minutes early so we can thaw it out. That's yeah, right. That's true. <laughs> Dave Gabbert, we appreciate you, brother. Y'all have a, happy, y'all new have year. a happy New Year. And we'll talk next week, okay?
Okay. All right, Dave Gabbert, uh, we're going to close it out. <laughs> well, one thing I'd like to say about our group, yes, our we group. have a passion for kids and that's, young people and the outdoors. Absolutely. That's, that's, that's why we do what we do, that's because right. we love the outdoors and we want people to get involved. That's and right. if you want to meet Gene Smith and Dave Gabbert, yeah. come on out to the TWRA Junior Fishing Rodeo every day. June. Yeah, we'll have that and be talking about it. Uh, great help there. But uh, let's take a break. Come back. Charlie Covenant, I know he's biting at the bit, so to speak, <laughs> to uh, pull out this uh, poem. We'll be right back on Outdoors with Larry Wright. You can find out all. 